Joining us now, congratulations, Lauren, on a big win over the Ducks. Thank you. What was the key to success today? Because from the jump, you guys controlled this game. Yeah, honestly, we've just been talking about defense, defense, defense. And we know there's games we come out, we're hot, games we're struggling, but we wanted that not to matter. We didn't want to waver because of that. We wanted to be getting stops, get the rebound, and run, and let's go. Talk about the game plan against Niar Sabli. Like, you're, you, you always do a fantastic job on defense, but, I mean, that's a tall order. What, did, what kind of mindset did you have to get in? Yeah, honestly, just all week it's been about just deny her touches. Um, Coach Shannon always tells us it's easy to play defense when they don't have the ball. So that was really my focus all week, just making sure she didn't get touches, I was around, um, just using my length and my physicality to make sure if she got a touch, it was difficult, and denying her the ball when I could. Well, you also did a fantastic job, in, the, especially in that first half, second half also, but you came out, yes, your teammate was shooting from the three-point line, but you came out and scored a ton of early baskets. Was that a plan for you to take it at them early, or was it just a product of reading the openings? Yeah, no, definitely. My coaches have really, really been on me just to be more aggressive, be more assertive. Um, I obviously love to pass, but they know I can score inside. Um, just with my strength, and they know teams are starting to play off of that, so they really wanted me to have the confidence and just go at people and work my go-to moves. Yeah, well, you did an awesome job tonight. Thank you. Last question for you. What for is you, it? I got more. Sorry, <laughs> last question for me. What question, uh, talk about what it means for you. I mean, you've been here, you know the Oregon teams, the tradition up there. What does it mean to get a sweep of, the Oregon, of Oregon this year, you know, up there and down here? Yeah, like you said, they've just grown into a very consistent and top 10 consistently national team. Um, and just as a program, we know it's big, and that's the type of program we want to be seen as respected as. Um, so it's just definitely a big deal. We know we're capable of that. So to come out this season, despite what people were saying about our roster size, this, that, and the third, we knew we were capable, and I think we showed that this year for sure. You know you make me laugh. You know that you do. And so last time when you guys played Oregon, Michaela had 33 points. You had five. <laughs> you dared to post a picture saying, look at us, 38 points between the two of us. Uh, this time around, you had five different players in double figure scoring. How important is it as you guys are heading towards the Pac-12 tournament to make people wonder who is going to hurt them from the Bruins? Yeah, I, mean, I think that's huge, and I think that's something I love about this program is that it never matters who gets the credit. And, I mean, that's a big a tribute to Michaela that she doesn't care if she's the 33-point scorer or she has zero. Um, I think that's huge, definitely, like you said, going into the postseason action, and it just makes teams hard to scout us. And it gets Michaela even more of those looks when you have to respect all of us out there on the court as scorers. All right, well, I'm going to look for your devilish tweet tomorrow. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Take care. I right, appreciate you.